First responders in Catoosa are showing high school students the dangers of drinking and driving ahead of prom. News on 6's Mallory Thomas shows us the mock deadly car accident. Firefighters and police set up for students. One of the students involved in this accident says even though it wasn't real, he hopes that the other students understand the dangers about drinking and driving. I just heard the airbags just explode and then I was just going crazy and then when they picked me up, I was like, oh, it's time, it's go time. Senior Aiden Taft is still wearing the fake blood from the mock accident. He played the role of a victim loaded into the back of a hearse. It was crazy at first because when I first feel like I died, it just happened out of nowhere. In this scenario, Aiden died on the scene. Another student was rushed to the hospital by ambulance and another so badly hurt they had to be airlifted to a nearby hospital. Another student left in handcuffs arrested for drinking and driving. It's something we try to put on every year at about this time, uh, close to prom. Uh, the whole community gets involved. Um, it's, it's actually quite a big pr production for every, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. James Norville with the Catoosa Fire Department says even though the goal of today seems obvious, to show the students drinking and driving can quickly turn deadly, he says it's still an important lesson for them to see. This is a very important time. Uh, for kids to be reminded of things that could happen. The, uh, a lot, there's a lot of parties that happen after prom, um, and kids don't quite always make the best decisions, so we're trying to show them the consequences of what could happen. I hope the kids pick up not, definitely not to drink and drive, but also the dangers of it and how like it could hurt other people and the people around them. In Katusa, Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.